Okay, okay let's go to the part C. Okay, okay here, here I use the dash, dash notation again. again. Okay, so, so here, here I have taken the derivative of this function. function. It's, it's not listed in the basic rule list. Okay, so, so again I have used one of these rules. But, but here again I have product of three functions. functions no, so product of rule is in input the product of two functions. But, but like, like in the case of uh, addition, addition here, here we, we have the associative, associative uh, law multiplication. Okay. okay. So, so if you have here f g and let's say three functions h multiplying this is so okay. This is multiplication. I can, I can multiply them in any order. Okay. T and h. Okay. So because, because these are real value functions, functions it's the same. Full of associative of multiplication of real numbers, we can apply here. Okay, this, this means again, if you have three numbers to multiply, you can multiply in any order. Let's say 3, 2, and sorry, let's say 4. Yeah, I can multiply this in these two first, or I can multiply by multiplying 3 and 4 first. Okay, so if I do these two first, I get 6 times 4, which is 24. This what? 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 2 again you get 24, no? So if you do this first, first two function first, or these two doesn't matter, okay? So normally when we write a product of three things, we don't give a specify your order because you can do it either way. You can do this first or this first, okay? So here again, so I have product of three functions. I cannot use the product rule for three functions. Here again, I'll go with the associative law and I'll group these two together and I will call now it's a product of two functions. Okay, these two together times this guy now. Okay, let me write here. No? These two together. So one function times this guy. Or I could have said these two together first and then this is a one function times this guy. Okay. It doesn't matter which functions you consider together, first two or the second two, you, at the end you will get the same answer, okay, because of associative law, okay. So if I go in this order, here, I will say these two my f now, okay, these two my f, and these two my g, no. This one is my G, cos x is G, these two is my F, okay. So now if I plug into the product formula, here I first I write the F, no, that is this guy without any change, as it is, so x squared sin x without any change, then the derivative of cos x, derivative of G, no. Here I am using the dash notation, so I will write cos x dash, okay. Then plus, I write just g, that is cos x, times the derivative of x. Now derivative of this f, these two functions together, for the derivative of f here, I plug in f for here, so I have x squared sin x dash, no, derivative of this function. Okay, derivative of this function, x squared times sin x, okay. Uh, I'll write it here a little bit again. I'll shift it and rewrite without any change. So after applying product rule, we got f plus sin x times cos x derivative of this guy plus a cos x times the derivative of first. This is the derivative of s squared plus sin x, derivative of f. Now here, this is a basic function, I can directly derivative, take the derivative of cos is negative sine. But here, again it's two functions, it's not listed here. So again, if it's not listed here, I have to apply one of differential uh, rules. Okay, again this is a product of two functions. Now that means I can apply the product rule here. Okay. So again, I'm applying the product rule twice, okay. So here again, if I say this is f and this is g, no, in this situation when I apply product rule, first function is x where this is g. So I write x squared sin x 
This is a basic function, so I could differentiate in using this formula and differentiate. Okay. Negative cos x. Now this one I have cos x. Okay. Cos x. Cos x times the depth. Here I will apply the product rule. Okay, so if I apply the product rule again, f times here I use the dash notation d dash plus d times f dash. No, so I will apply the product rule here. So x squared here I will write the derivative of sin x. No, derivative of g and plus just g, no, that is sin x, g is sin x, and derivative of x square, okay, derivative sin x times derivative of x square, okay? and I put here bracket because of product, it's multiplied both of them, this sum, no? now, here I can pull out the minus sign first, I get x square, sin x cos x here i will have plus cos x okay times here derivative of sin x no so x squared derivative of sin x is cos squared so i get x squared derivative of sin x is cos x sorry okay derivative of sin x is cos x derivative of sin x is cos x because this is a basic function no i can differentiate directly now plus sin x derivative of x squared that means again a basic function with power rule you know? so I can use this here I identify the end to be 2 so I bring down the 2 and x 2 I take 2 n minus 1 so 2 minus 1 1 no 1 I don't have to write it here okay so this is the uh, differentiation of this thing so i'll stop here okay so again here first step i cannot do the differentiation directly it's not a basic function so i use product rule no so i use product rule uh, and then again i apply the product rule here this guy i cannot differentiate so again i use a rule it ended up being the product rule okay because this is again a product so i use product rule here again i got this okay so one thing to observe here every time you try to differentiate you check first when there is a basic function then you directly differentiate if not if you apply a rule okay after applying each rule then again you look at the remaining differentiations okay if it's a basic function you do otherwise you again apply a rule okay so you keep applying until rules until you down to a derivative of a basic function then you use this loop and differentiate okay other thing this is a product of three functions i cannot differentiate them directly uh, the product rule I cannot apply for product of three, so I apply twice. No, for this one I considered one function and then apply. Then again here I apply the product rule. Okay, you could have again think these two together and apply the product rule. That way still you get the same answer. But remember that here you cannot simply individual different in, differentiate these individual functions like in the sum case. Okay, because this product rule is more complicated. So you have to apply the product rule twice here, okay, to get the correct answer. Okay, so we are, I'll stop this product rule discussion here. You will see more examples later.